To the bride. <laughs> I'm proud of the woman you are becoming. You used to just be my little sister, but you are you are so much more than that now. Stop. <laughs> One of my best friends, it's just like being there when you found out you were pregnant was a bonding moment for us. Watching you and Luke over the past five years become who you are today has been a blessing to be a part of. I love you so much and I can't wait to cry so much and see you be the beautiful bride. Sorry for my speech, it's not the best. Oh, well, I love you and Luke are going to have a beautiful future and I cannot wait for you to watch. Wait. Well, you should have loved me like look at this person. <laughs> From Sam, if you all didn't know. Did you like my little note? Nobody thought it was cute. <laughs> Noah, you're finally my cousin. Congratulations. <laughs> Burgundy, oh my god, I can't believe you, you're getting married. We have been through so much. Through, I think that's what I was supposed to say. In the time we've been best friends. Who's this from? Me. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, restart. Oh my God, I can't believe you're getting married. We have been through so much in the time we've been best friends. You've helped me get through my toughest times and battles and I can't thank you enough for it. I'm so glad after everything we've been through, we have stuck together like glue. I honestly don't know what I would do without you in my life. So thank you for being my best, bestest friend to me. It makes me beyond happy that I, that I get to be there to see you marry someone who loves and cares for you as much as I do. You aren't here watching me write this, but I just want you to know I cried like a baby writing this. I cried like a bitch. I, <laughs> I don't want to write this. I promise it's happy tears. I just, I'm just so incredibly proud of who you become. I can't wait to see you walking down the aisle today. I might cry like a baby again. <laughs> well, anyways, just know I will always, always be here for you, and I love you so much. I wish nothing but happiness to come to you and Luke here on out. I love you, Haley. That was cute. I was like, Miss Huggins. Oh, how weird it is to say that. I'm so happy for you, Burgundy. I'm happy that you guys are happy. I truly hope you guys have a lifetime together. It would be amazing to make it through everything and still be so strong. Your little family is so adorable. Okay, should I say perfect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see you all pretty up. In, in that beautiful white dress. I thought you said pretending. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to look phenomenal. Keep going, keep doing you beautiful. And remember, you is kind, you is smart, you is important. <laughs> <laughs> What's that awful? Because anyone in this room is the hell. The what? The hell. I was yeah. like, is it the good dinosaur? Because I don't remember. <laughs> 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 That's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Okay, I can tell dinosaur. this is Audrey's handwriting. And it's on the weirdest fucking paper for whatever reason. Yeah. I don't know. Burgundy, today you marry our baby boy. I know he's 22, but he will always be our baby. Since he was born, we have prayed that he would find someone in his life who would bring him joy, love him with all their heart, and be his best friend. That's sad. There's more of that. We welcome you into our family with open arms. We've been married 25 years, and our advice to you is don't go to bed angry and give 100 <laughs> percent they wrote love him and her because i used to knock all the <laughs> to the most beautiful bride i'm so glad i met you i think you're an amazing person and friend i'm so thankful you accepted my aggressive form of making it known that i wanted to be friends with you it really was i didn't know who the hell she, didn't know who the hell she was texting me i was like okay who elizabeth um that I wanted, oh, I love your energy and vibe. I'm glad I found a party girl to match and say, match my soul, finally. I'm so happy for you and the future you have in store, Elizabeth and Morgan. I could not beat them for a handwritten note, so it took what they wanted to say and wrote it for them. Oh, okay, so one of you wrote this. <laughs> the people at Facebook also had to add. Only two people. <laughs> Cassidy, <laughs> Cassidy said, Lots of love and laughter, never keep secrets, and always work as a team. Gloria, oh, love her so much. Remember to take care of you, so happy for you. <laughs> I know, because this is my paper. <laughs> okay, this is from Luke. It says, oh my goodness, baby, the day has finally come. I can't wait to see you in your dress. 
I am so, 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 so excited. I know you are going to look beautiful. I love you bunches, baby. You are my bestest friend, my one true love. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. You have made me a better person just by loving me every day. I know I drive you crazy, but we are meant to be, and I'm so proud to be your husband. Our new journey starts today, and it definitely will be one for the books. See you at the end of the aisle, love Luke. That sugar sweet, you got what I need. Sipping on the potion, all that good emotion. Just my kind of keep, keep it on repeat. Tested by the potion, love and this devotion. I don't know how many times I've written, rewritten, and completely started over on trying to write these. It's hard to put into words how much you mean to me. It's still not perfect, but neither are we. From the first time I met you, I had a feeling that I've never felt before with any other person I've met. You felt like home. You instantly felt comfortable to me. For me, at that time in my life, it was hard to open up. I was very guarded and you completely took down that wall. I couldn't and still can't explain how or why you were so different. The day I found out I was pregnant, I was so scared. I was a hot mess, freaking out, thinking my world was ending. I couldn't count how many thoughts were racing through my head. But when I told you, you were calm, hugged me, and you smiled. You told me everything was going to be okay. Right then, everything stopped. The rushing thoughts, my tears, they all stopped. Right then, I knew that no matter what happened, we were going to be okay and go through it together. You have always made me feel safe and made it known that I could go to you with anything. Luke, you are not only my best friend, you are my soulmate, the love of my life, the father of our beautiful daughter, and now my husband. I love all the precious memories we have and promise to cherish the new ones to come. I love you now and I'll love you always. Oh my goodness. That was really good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> good luck. Mine is, uh, <laughs> it's probably not like traditional. I but... don't do mine traditionally either. Okay. I promise to love you for who you are and for who you are yet to become. I promise to be patient and to remember that all things between us are rooted in love. I promise to share my whole heart with you and remember how deeply I care for you, no matter the challenges that may come our way. I promise to love you loyally and fiercely as long as I shall live. I love you with all my heart. You're, you're my love, light, and soulmate. You are the person that keeps me smiling and laughing. I have found my forever partner. Oh, there's more. <laughs> yeah. Today I join my life with yours, not simply as your husband, but as your lover, best friend, and biggest supporter. Let me be the shoulder you lean on and the companion of your life. I take you as mine, knowing and loving all of your strengths and faults, just as I offer myself to you as yours with all of my strengths and faults. I will be there for you in your times of need, and I know I can turn to you when I need a guiding hand. My life is forever entangled with yours from this day on. Your love gives me hope, and your smile brings me joy. You make me a better man. Oh, there's more again? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Burgundy, when we first met, I never imagined this day would come, but now that we are here, I couldn't have imagined choosing anyone else but you to go through life's journey with. I loved your laugh, your smile, your caring nature, and how great of a mother you are. I promise to support you, to honor you, and to love you unconditionally. I can't imagine where I would be without you, and I cannot wait to continue this crazy journey with you by my side. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. That was really good. <laughs> Thank you. Majesty. Paolo is exhausted because Majesty, only Paolo, can take this and this and give you a princess.
get lost in your deep blue eyes Like a shell in the sea I fall in love over and over When you're looking at me I think about all the work we've done And all that will be Through all of the hard and the good times
Thank you. May be seated. It's a very special moment, and we're just going to take a second and enjoy the moment. And we welcome you to the to be here as we gather together in the presence of God and these witnesses to join Luke and Burgundy in holy matrimony. Marriage is a gift from God. It's given to us that we might experience a joy and unconditional love with a lifetime partner. God designed marriage to be an intimate relationship between a man and a woman. Luke and Burgundy, because of your deep love for each other that comes from God above, this is a sacred moment and it is great reverence that I now ask you to declare your intent. Luke, do you intend to take Burgundy to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance and the holy estate of matrimony? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsake all others, remain faithful to her as long as you both shall live? And Burgundy, just a second. This, we have a long ways to go. <laughs> Burgundy's idea of a wedding ceremony is three minutes and we're out of here. Uh, so, uh, these are, this is just the, just the preliminaries. Are you nervous? A little. Uh, the laughing will help a little bit. You know, it does help a little bit. Uh, now I forgot where I was. So we're going to go back to the beginning. Do you take do you take Luke to be your wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in, in the holy estate of matrimony? Do you promise to love him, to comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain faithful for him as long as both of you shall live? Okay, and this is the point you're ready to have happen. <laughs> Uh, to give this moment to this man. Her mother and I. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that they said they weren't going to do, we're good. So that happens. Today is the beginning of your new life together, and it marks a commitment in your new relationship to your family, to your friends. And you've invited all these special people that are here with you uh, to be a part of this special day. As you, that God needs you when He brought you knew when He brought you all together, that He knew exactly what you needed to make you complete. And now, as you com commit yourself to each other, you've chosen to complete you. Through the ages, man has tried to define love by poems, love songs, books. But probably the best description of what love actually is can be found in 1 Corinthians 13. And it says, if I speak human or angelic tongues but did not have love, I'm like a noisy gong or a changing, clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have all faith so that I can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. And if I give away all my possessions, and if I give over my body in order to boast by what I have that I but do not have love, I gain nothing by giving everything away. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, it is not boastful, it is not arrogant, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not irritable, and does not keep a record of wrongs. Love finds no way, no joy in unrighteousness, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, but as far as prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. 
as for knowledge it will come to an end. For we know in part and in prophecy in part, but when the perfect comes, the partial will come to an end. Uh, to an end. You two have I remember meeting Burgundy pretty good while ago. Five and a half years, is that how long it's been? Five years. Five years. Right. There you go. It's hard to get Luke to say anything, but Burgundy, she'll answer my questions. Uh, and I've got to know both of them. Uh, well, Luke I've known since birth. <laughs> but uh, you can see the love that you two have for each other. Uh, and two years ago, coming April the 28th, just later on this month, Sunny, where she is somewhere in the second row, Sunny was brought into your life, and she's, and the thing that I can tell being around both of you is your love for her, and uh, the family that you have, you have now, and as you united marriage, the commitment that you have to each other, uh, it's such a blessing. And it's our, as we go through the process now of exchanging vows, uh, exchanging rings at this point, uh, Blake, if you could, first I'll take Burgundy's, Burgundy's ring. And as you see this ring, it has, where does it begin? Where does it end? I know I do. <laughs> That's the point. You get there's no answer. It's never ending. Never ending. And that should be your love for one another. That it's a never ending love. And Luke, if you would take this ring. Let me take those. Because I can just see you dropping them. <laughs> And if you would, put it on her finger as a commitment of your love to, for each other in unending times together. And Burgundy, that ring is also unending. And if you would, put it on his finger as a token of your love. Let's pray together. Father, we just thank you so much for Burgundy, for Luke, we thank you for Sonny and their life together. And Father, I just give you praise for uh, what you will continue to do in the days ahead of this family. Father, we thank you for their parents, their grandparents, uh, siblings, and the extended family that they have and the support they have. And Father, we just are thankful for how each of these people and the importance of each as they have in their, their lives. Father, be with Luke and Burgundy. Father, we give you praise for, and we just come with thanksgiving that, that the two have been able to unite as one in marriage. And we just ask this all in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Am I on overtime now? <laughs> Time for me to be done. Before the two of you ever met, you had two separate lives. And they were probably real close to each other because you all didn't live all that far away, but you didn't know each other. Is that not true? And, but then your paths crossed, probably at Wright's High School or somewhere else. Was it at Wright's? And you fell in love with each other. 
And today you stand here in front of all of us and you've joined your life together as husband and wife. There are two separate containers over here that represent each of your lives. Yeah, go right ahead. And as, and the two separate containers of sand in front of you symbolize your separate lives, your separate families, and your separate circle of friends. And that's what your lives have been shaped by because a lot of different families have got to know each other. You see both of your parents sitting here on the front row and a nephew and you see extended family members and many friends that all of our lives have been joined together. And as you pour the sand in, this represents that you are all, there's things that you do as individuals, but now you do it as a, as a family and as an extended family, as our families are blended together as you pour. I'm waiting for you all to go ahead and okay. start. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to continue to make up things here. Sonny, Sonny, I'm going to do something that they didn't ask to do. Sonny, you want to come up here with Mommy and Daddy? Come here. Come here. I hope you're okay with this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you've got, there's so much of you that it's overflowing. <laughs> now you can come back over here with me and Sonny. In all my years of, I've married a lot of people and this is the first time that I've ever held a baby at the end of the service. But by the powers invested in me as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce Luke and Burgundy, husband and wife, what God has put together, let no man put asunder. And Luke, you may kiss your bride. I now present to you all, Mr. and Mrs. Huggins. Yeah. 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 Yeah.